Hey there, YouTubers Riot. So this is an unboxing for the Intel i5-13400F. Uh, this requires a graphics card, as you uh, can see from that note, and the F uh, signifies that. No K in this, so it's not overclockable. For those of you um, that might want to boost this up a little bit, there uh, may be a, a few MSI ROG uh, or ROG Strix uh, motherboards out there that, that can give you a little more performance. Those motherboards are in the uh, 275 and up range, so at that point, you might as well have bought the i5-13600KF. All right, let's get this open. All right, so let's look at, take another look at the box. Um, so as we said, 13th gen, here's some of the information that is on the side of this that you might not be able to see. Made in Vietnam. And otherwise, there's not, not really a whole lot on this. Um, See, there was a little seal there. You will get a manual here, i5. It will describe the best way to uh, install your, uh, your CPU. And, of course, yours truly will do multiple installations with this. Now, the first version, folks, will uh, it will have the stock cooler with it. And that will have uh, thermal paste on it. So you won't have to buy thermal paste for the first installation. Of course, if you screw it up and have to reinstall it, that is a, another story. Uh, but we will we will do a pretty heavily uh, installation of that. CPU cooler stock, a little beefier than what you may have seen for LGA 1151. But this appears to be, um, feels a little heavier than the 12th gen ones. Uh, hopefully it is, because this CPU is going to run hotter. I personally... I'm just going to go and tell you right off the bat for the CPU. I, I wouldn't even recommend the CPU cooler. Uh, maybe in the beginning, if you want to get into, you know, real good gaming and stuff and uh, you don't have good airflow in your case, this is not going to uh, help much. But, uh, you know, what would be good uh, on the high end, I wouldn't spend any more than, say, a Noctua NHU-12S. On the bottom end, there's plenty of uh, $20 coolers that would be good. Um, some offerings from ID cooling for about 35 bucks. The V true V five would probably pair up pretty good with this. We'll, uh, we'll do that installation because Lord knows that's been the most popular, uh, CPU cooler on the channel and, uh, honestly made me the most money. So why not do another video for it is what I always say. So here's your, uh, CPU folks. This has got 10 total cores. Six of those are performance four efficiency cores. Total threads is uh, 16. Max turbo boost is 4. All right. Now, I haven't looked at the uh, multipliers, but most of you will go, oh, how come this doesn't hit 4? Well, to see 4, there's a good chance that you probably have to run a uh, single core uh, test bench, as you might do in Cinebench R23. And then you will be able to see uh, 4. But unless all of the... Uh, multipliers are set to four then uh you know that's another story right but if you only see a couple are set to four so we'll we'll find out later if that's the case and quite honestly folks um if you're going to handle your cpu you know uh, as people have recommended uh gloves might not be a bad thing the electrostatic equipment um you know i take my chances on the channel but that doesn't always mean it's the uh, the best thing for it but there's your cpu so what will we do on this channel we're going to install it we'll do a lot of gaming videos i may try and do some comparisons even though i did sell off my i5 12 400 uh so the only thing i would have right now comparative to it would be the i5 um 13600 kf to see if that's worth spending a little more money on it now this thing did cost me uh 209 dollars the uh Suggested MSRP is 196. Eventually, this will drop into the, you know, 150, 170 range. I'm sure, where you can pick it up brand new. Once there's a better competition out there, uh, for this, you know, range of uh, CPU. Now, is this uh, the best value out there? It probably is, folks. And uh, we hopefully will show you that in future videos. Thanks for checking out the i5 Intel i5 13400F. And uh, I also will have the i3 
13100F and most likely i7 13700F, which currently at the moment is completely overpriced. Uh, when you can say that you can get an i7 13700K for the same price. So, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.